Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge two prototypes or let's say copy pages from prototype to prototype. Because see, at some point you're going to find yourself that you need to, let's say, make copies or merge two prototypes into one or, you know, link them somehow smart. And I'm going to exactly show you the way to do so. And it's really easy. Um, as you can see on my screen, I have two different prototypes right now. And one is called source. So this is the, let's say a prototype which has countless of pages. And I have a new prototype which I, I just created. So how would you do that? You, you could, let's say, open, you know, different prototypes at once. And as you can see, I have my source with many more pages and I have my, my new prototype with just a sign up page. So what, what you could do literally, you could just probably just copy up page by page like so copy and then just paste in into a new prototype. It takes a little bit of time, but as you can see it pastes in a different page. But the issue here is that if you added some really complex logic to it or used variables or you want to copy the styles across or you want to cop copy the notes across or a commentary, let's say you did, you kind of have to import the pages and import so in a smart way. And just how to how I would do so Axure has a built in import functionality. And if you go to file, let's say in your Axure, and just choose import from RP file, like so, you would need to select one of your files. And let's say in this case, we are targeting the source one, let's say old one old prototype, and we just need a couple of pages. I would just go in and you're going to open importing wizard. Now Axure allows you to pick and choose exactly what you want to import and exactly the way you want it to be done. So I'm going to select, let's say all the pages we had in the previous prototype and I can just click next. And then if there were masters, let's say I could select which masters I want to import. I usually tend to copy everything and select everything what's available because you also can, you know, let's say miss out on a critical bits and then it's not going to be imported. As you can see, it says that it's going to replace the login page with a target page because they're the same and that's correct. But you can, you know, you can say that you just want to add a carbon copy of it. So you can actually specify which pages should be replaced, you can skip it to the end, you know, you have that flexibility to add a little bit of logic and customize depending on your needs. So I would just click next, let's say, you also can import adaptive use if you selected some, as you can see our previous prototype didn't have any, but if I would select add, add adaptive use beforehand, I would see a list as well. And again, I could add it, I could just skip it, I could remove it, it actually adds that capability. It also allows you to import the generator configurations. I'm going to cover this in depth at some point, but actually allows you to export to HTML files, which you can host, let's say as a website, or it allows you to export as a spec as a CSV or doc files. So these basically would be the specs. As you can see, we're not importing any of it because it, they're not specified yet. And that's totally fine. Also, you can import notes. As you can see, I have page overview note done. I can just import it or I can remove it. I also can import extra notes, which are basically for fields and sets. And I also can import the styles. I can specify what styles I want to import. None of them are really specific apart from, let's say, text or buttons. But this bit is probably the most important, especially if you work with variables. Because if, let's say, you don't import the variables, the functionality you had the logic for, which uses variables, it's just not gonna work and you're gonna have to recreate it from scratch. So importing all variables or at least some of them is going to, you know, save you tons of amount of time to work with. Or, and, and so does, you know, every other option we had uh, been able to choose so far. So I'm going to select import all variables and then it's going to summarize exactly what we're going to do. As you can see, there are not much change. I'm just going to add a bunch of pages, add some notes and that's done. Now we're going to go through a process of importing it. And as you can see, I have a new prototype, which has all the pages we worked on different bits so far. And just to show you that it works, as if you remember in previous video, we had loading screen where we increase the percentage number based on you know the progress of the bar. And if it works and if it calculates, it means that we have 
our variables in place. And as you can see, it does so. It adds up to a variable. So everything works perfectly because you can imagine that Axure is so complex that some, sometimes you might miss out on some functionality and then, you know, whole prototype might just explode and you might need to investigate, be a detective of sorts and just find the cause. So I hope this video was useful. At some point, you're definitely going to use this. It depends how much of actual professional you're going to get, but it's, it's really life saving. And, and especially if you need to iterate and make multiple versions and combine prototypes. As per usual, thank you for watching this. I hope it's useful. Give a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you need anything else covered uh, because I've, I'm gonna keep producing these videos. And as usual, I'll see you next time.